So the original plan for today was to do the final drive belt, but that requires taking the primary apart and you know all that fun stuff to hold back in. And like I said in the last one, I don't have the, the actual little scissor jack that goes on the table. So that would require pulling it back out in the driveway. Um, my wife informed me that I got dinner plans tonight. And uh, well, for those of y'all that are married, y'all know that that wasn't a question. So I don't have a lot of time, but I do have a lot of parts. Um, as you see all the Amazon stuff, so I got a new battery, got spark plug wires, didn't get plugs yet, waiting on those to come in. Got uh, the little starter button that goes on, on the starter cover itself. Uh, it's a button that replaces the factory starter cover. And then, what else do I got? I already said battery. So yeah, we're just gonna hook all that up, see if maybe we can get it started and uh, go from there. Get what I can done today before I'm told it's time to go. So, right there we got the belt, not getting to it today, but we have a battery and the starter button and the plug wires. So, we can bypass all this with just that starter button, which, as you see, this thing was given to me without this cover on it, so I don't even have the hardware, so hopefully the new one came with the hardware, I haven't checked yet, but, um... Yeah, I'm gonna put that on, and that should be able to start it with that, with the battery, and then it does have plugs. So hopefully get it to, I don't know, at least crank. Maybe not start, because I haven't messed with the carburetor, but crank. Very first thing I'm gonna do is clean everything up. Make sure I got a good clean connection before I put the battery on, because these are uh, they're pretty rusty. Starter button is on, the spark plug wires are on, and the new battery's in, and then I cleaned up the, uh, the battery connections. So this is going to be the first attempt to start it. I'm going to see what it'll do. I mean, I have no doubt the carb is bad, but we'll see if this will help. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it's not even, I don't even have fuel running to it, but, you know, we'll see. So let's see what happens. Click. Of course. Okay. Let's test the brand new battery out and see. All right, brand new battery. Let's see what we're reading. 12.2. Yeah, that's a little bit low. 12.5, 12.8 is really kind of where you want it, but I would think that would still be enough. I'm going to put a jump box on it and see if it'll crank. So the jump box didn't change anything, but what I do see is the starter looks loose. You see this bolt up here? And so it's engaging, but it's jumping. And I'm wondering if that's keeping it from being able to fully crank. So I'm about to tighten that down and see what happens. All the way loose. See if that changed anything. Still nothing. Man. All right. So the next thing I can think is to the power cord here. You see this rigged up crap right here. That runs down to the top of the starter. So got to pull the oil tank so I can get to that and maybe I just need to clean that connection there you know they corrode sometimes 
I don't think I'm getting enough current to the starter because he's told me, and I mean, I trust this guy, that this thing was running. Uh, he just never, he wasn't going to do the belt. He didn't want to go through all the work of pulling the primary. And so, yeah, he tells me the engine's good. I believe him. But uh, that's, that's a symptom you would have with a seized up engine is the starter would try and crank it, but it couldn't. Um, but we're going to try this one last thing before that. Unfortunately, I think I'm out of time for today. Because like I told y'all, I got somewhere to be. But that's going to be the next step is pulling this oil tank and checking this connection right here. Like I told y'all on the last one, this bike is the absolute biggest piece of shit I have ever worked on. It's uh, endless surprises. Every time I work on it, I find more and more stuff that I just can't even believe. You know, like you just saw the starter's not even on tight. There wasn't a cover on the starter. There's countless things missing. Wires, all different colors running to all different colors. Bolts rusted, cross-threaded, rounded off. It is, it should really be in a junkyard, honestly. But uh that's gonna be more of a testimony to it when it's done you know it's gonna be it's gonna be cool we went over a game plan with it and i'm about to show y'all all that but you know it, right now it's really it's just one of those uh looking like an occ bike huh like y'all saw what jay leno said you had one from occ right oh that biggest piece of junk ever. <laughs> it's, you know something I'm, i was so stunned uh -huh. at how bad it was built you know, they bought an engine from a guy who did a nice job, mm -hmm. built a motor. A guy out of Atlanta, it's a Harley Knuckle replica motor. And the motor's fine. You know, I was riding it, and it stops on me. And I realized the electrical system is, is fused through the rear taillight. So if the rear taillight breaks or blows out, the whole bike stops. Oh, gosh. I'm like, this is, I thought it was dangerous. It didn't stop. Uh, the geometry of the steering it was just yeah i mean they were meant to be you build one for the fire department looks like a fire that engine. was the craziest thing because i was like 12 years old when american chopper came out and that literally set the tone for who i am today like i became completely obsessed with building motorcycles and i would not be who i am today if american chopper didn't come out so it's crazy to see that they put out like garbage you know but it is what it is i guess i mean Vinny and Rick were really the dudes anyways, and they got their own shops now, so, you know, whatever Paul Tuttle does is whatever Paul Tuttle does, but, yeah, I thought it was the craziest video, man. But, uh, Jay Leno knows his shit. Dude's got a couple hundred bikes, so, anyways, we'll pick up on this one later. I'm about to show y'all kind of the game plan for it, and then, uh, we'll have another video up within a few days to a week. So, we found this picture for inspiration. Uh, this is along the lines of what he's wanting to get done. He um, he definitely wants that color blue, and he wants quite a bit of chrome. No crash bars, no fog lights, no fishtail exhaust, but uh, he does want the tail dragger rear fender. We found one online already and uh, waiting for him to order that. And then he found some, some wheels. He was thinking about a 18-inch back wheel and a either 21 or 23. I told him I think we should go with the 23 for a front wheel but doing the chrome fat spoke wheels. So it's going to be a pretty sweet ride when it's done.